Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Fruitfly Mac malware. Researchers at Malwarebytes have discovered a new piece of malware that seems to have been hiding on a limited number of Macintosh computers since maybe 2014. Now, actually, this malware is relatively unsophisticated as far as today's standards. It seems to be based on Linux malware, since the latest Mac OS or OS X has kind of an underlying Unix system. Some Linux malware can run in similar fashion on Mac computers. In any case, the author seems to have used a standard piece of Linux malware and converted it for Mac. Now, the malware is relatively unsophisticated. The way it creates persistence so that it runs every time you start up is pretty basic. Uh, basically, all the malware does is try to take screen captures and maybe get access to your webcam and then connect to a command and control server. Now, it does have a few other capabilities. For instance, it can actually enumerate your network and learn a little bit about other devices. And it seems to have a module that allows it to connect to those other devices itself. Anyways, if you want to know all the technical details, I highly recommend you read Malwarebytes' blog post on the issue. Now, sophisticated or not, every time we see new Mac malware, it is interesting since, by the numbers, there's much less Mac malware than, say, Linux or Windows malware. On top of that, despite the fact this not being very sophisticated, it was able to live on some Mac computers, on some victim computers, for quite a long time. So what should you do about this if you're a Mac user? Well, obviously, having all the normal security, like a firewall, a gateway antivirus, advanced threat protection to catch these sorts of threats will hopefully keep this malware off your Mac computer. And of course, WatchGuard's Fireboxes provide that. But also do know that Apple have released an update to Mac OS that actually makes sure that it can prevent this particular Firefly variant. So if you have the latest version of Mac OS, you should be safe. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.